Mindy Kincaid and this is CNN News Now. U.S. President Donald Trump says he is holding off on additional sanctions against North Korea now that the summit with Kim Jong-un is back on. The face-to-face -face meeting is set to take place in Singapore in a little over the, a week from now. Mr. Trump described the upcoming summit as the beginning of a process between the two countries. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi is beginning his second term in office. He was sworn in a short time ago in Cairo. El-Sisi won March's election in a landslide, but critics say he forced all his serious challenges out of the race. Spectacular view there in Rome, planes flying across, trailing smoke in red, white and green, the colours of the Italian flag. National pride on full display in Italy as citizens mark the founding of the Republic with a national holiday and the end of a political crisis. On day one of the new coalition government, the populist leaders have promised to curb illegal immigration and create jobs. There's also a new government in Spain today. Socialist Party leader Pedro Sanchez was sworn in as Prime Minister one day after his predecessor lost a no-confidence vote in Parliament. Mr Sanchez is expected to unveil his cabinet next week. And that is your CNN News Now. I'm Linda Kincaid. Inside Africa is next.